Hello guys, Kid One TV here, back for a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you uh, a video about five things that Pep Glatet has done right at Birmingham City this season. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. First of all, he has um, changes, um, changed, sorry, his style of play. Now, of course, um, he was brought in to play this free flowing attacking style of football. Um, at the start, we was um, doing that and it was working for some games. Um, like against Middlesbrough and um, yeah, um, we was winning games but um, in between that we was losing to Nottingham Forest and Swansea 3-0, 3-0, getting battered while trying to play this, uh, attacking expansive football it was coming at a cost because then um, we was um, open at the back and um, yeah, um, he's changed to a more compact defensive um, style of football now and it's worked massively because um, we was 13 and beaten in league and um, cup and yeah um, it definitely suits us better um, and yeah um, we concede much less goals we lose less games and um, yeah we're hard to beat um, This attack, when we was playing this free flowing attacking football it was fun to watch don't get me wrong but it come out of cost like I said and um, yeah um, I prefer the style of football we're playing now to be honest because it gets results and that's all you need in football is results so yeah that's number one number two it's going to be changing the formation now at the start of the season was playing the 4-2-3-1 we had Jukovic up top alone it was not working he didn't have the support he needed someone to work alongside him now of course Gimenez in some games played up top with Jukovic but Gimenez was a flop um, and he's gone out alone He's gone out on loan um, to Spain. So yeah, um, this was um, really important to be honest. And it was um, a thing where we needed to change because Jukovic was having no support up front and he was isolated and yeah, it just wasn't working. But since Hogan's come in and we've reverted to the 4-4-2 formation, we have seen the positive impacts it's had on the team because Scott Hogan can support Yuka Zukovic, he can give him the support, they can work together up top and that's what they've been doing this season. Since Scott Hogan's come in, it's improved the team massively and yeah, both strikers have been firing in the goals um, and I think Scott Hogan could be the uh, striker to replace Chad Adams if he does sign on a permanent deal in the summer, that's something we have to do try and um, get done so yeah number three it's going to be starting Mark Roberts um, bringing him into the first team now of course Mark Roberts was signed by Harry Redknapp in 2017 for a fee of 3.5 million um, it didn't work out to be honest um, he wasn't getting much game time under Gary Monk but Steve Cotcher was playing him um, a lot and he was making mistake after mistake conceding own goals um, giving away city, city um, bombs away, and um, yeah, he was looking really, really poor, um, and it looked like a waste of um four million pounds. But since Peklotet's come in, he's started Mark Roberts, um, and yeah, he's formed a really strong partnership with Clark Salter, and um, yeah, some games he's been um, replacing Harnadine as well at the back, and yeah, he looks like the player, um, that he was, um, when we signed him. From Barnsley in 2017, so yeah, that's um the third thing that Peklotet has done right this the right side of the season. The fourth thing is um giving you a chance. Now under Gary Monk, I know he give you a chance, um but it was only like one or two players. Peklotet has brought through Jude Bellingham, West Harding. I know that was um Gary Monk who brought him through, but he's um give Connell Truman game time as well when Lee Camp. Um, was on a poor run of form he gave Conor Truman a chance I know it didn't work out um, but he gave Conor Truman a chance he's not afraid to make um, changes to the team he's not afraid to drop players and Lee Camp got dropped for Conor Truman and yeah it didn't quite work out because he was conceding like two or three goals a game um, I don't think he's ready um, to be in the first team to be honest but um, Peklatek um, trying something new um, and of course he's brought like I said he's brought in Jude Bellingham and look what he's doing um, now he's um, one of the world's um, brightest talents um, so yeah um, 
credit to um, Pep Clotet for bringing through Drew Bellingham. Of course, he was only 16 years old. He made his debut against Stoke. And then, um, yeah, um, since then, he's just been lighting up the championship. And, yeah, of course, he um, was he was starting like Odin Bailey. He was giving him minutes um, for the last 15 minutes of games. And, of course, he got the winner against Middlesbrough. Um, at St Andrews and that was this crazy crazy scenes um, so yeah that's the fourth thing Pat Clotet has done well um, this season the fifth thing is not he's not afraid to um, attack teams and he's not afraid to um, give teams a game and go toe to toe with the big teams now of course um, against Leicester we was more defensive but um yeah, I'm talking about games like Leeds and West Brom. When we lost 5-4 at home, 3-2 at home to West Brom. Although we lost, we was um, giving them a go. was giving them a run for their own money. Um, and yeah, that was good to see. Um, when you when you go 2-0 down in games, especially against Leeds, we, you're going ha- gonna to have to attack. But yeah, um, we show um, we can... In them games, we showed that we can um, go toe-to-toe with the big sides in the championship. And, um, yeah, scoring four against Leeds as well. Um, but we, I think we need that balance. That's what we need. We need to be really good going forward and solid at the back. Um, and that's what I think Pekla Tet's done well in. Um, since, well, that 3-2 loss to Wigan, I think, changed a lot. Because since then... Um, we look, we, we reverted to the four four two, um, and we look more solid now. So yeah, um, and of course, um, we lost three one to Reading, but I think um fatigue and um, we ran out of steam um in that game. So yeah, make sure to leave a like, guys, if you have enjoyed this video. Also subscribe to help the channel out. Thanks for watching, and keep right on. See you later.